Yo, what it do again? Welcome back to the channel. So, listen, guys, you guys see it today. We have Blue Eyes Punk Dragons for you, and I know what you're thinking. Dang, son, you really just out here playing punk all the time, right? Yes, I am, bro. I'm in love with the deck. Why? Because it's giving other dookie decks and decks that have no place in the meta today, it's giving them a chance. It's like wrapping them up in a little blanket, like, come here, my boy. It's okay. You're, you're getting used. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I, don't worry about it, bro. I still have other decks. Like, I have my Akashi for you. I just showed you the witchcrafted ones. But right now, I'm making different variants on Punk. I have Punk Asian Warriors for you, too, sometimes this week, I hope. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the content. If you do, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Enough talking. Let's get into the replays. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, just in case, bro, if you hear me being overly excited, I'm sorry. I le I'm legitimately ex excited to show you these decks and these replays, bro. Because I enjoy them. I enjoy playing this deck more than anything, bro. Not this one specifically, but I mean like punk variants and stuff like that. So with that being said, we're going to start off by activating the wagon. Wagon is going to get us our field spell so we can start jamming. Turn up the music, bro. We're going to set a emergency teleport. Activate its effect, getting a CM. And CM is going to pay taxes so we can get a Foxy Tune. Give me my free card because I just paid taxes. Thank you. We're going to activate the Foxy Tune. Sending the White Stone of Asians to the graveyard so we can special summon a Yukioi. Yukioi is going to pay taxes so we can use both of these monsters to fusion summon into the Rising Carp. Give me my free card. Thank you. We're going to activate the CA man though before we do that just to um, fish out for negates. You guys know I'm a fisherman, right? Okay. <laughs> so here we're going to activate the rising carp, turn that thing to the graveyard so we can get a deer note and the CA man onto the field. But for these monsters, you guys already know, synchro some of them into the chaos ruler. Get a little chaotic, bro. Who cares, right? Activate that thing's effect. Activate the deer note. Deer note is going to bring back the um, rising carp from the graveyard into the field. Thank you. We're going to start milling. We're going to hit one blue eyes, two blue eyes, um, necro, punk, foxy tune, and the awakening of dragon. So I bring the blue eyes to the hand. We're going to activate the trading, sending that thing to the graveyard so we could join to two imperms. Then we're going to activate emergency teleport, setting down another CA man. We're going to use CA man and the chaos ruler to synchro summon into the psychic and punisher. Because we're about to punish our opponent, of course. We're going to activate the Chaos Ruler in the graveyard, banishing two monsters. One of those monsters is the um, Shinobi Necro, which when you banish it, you get to special summon it. Level 8, level Dose, level DS, aka Baron the Floor. Bring that out here, you already know. Then we're going to activate the Jam Extreme Session. Again, we're bumping, bro. We're going to bring our Ogre Dance onto the field. Two level 8s, Exceed Summon. My boy, number 38, Homebringer, Hopebringer. He's only bringing me hope, though, bro, because there's no hope for our opponent, right? So now right here, you're wondering, like, all right, man, like, where's the level 8 from this thing, right? This is why I love these decks, right? White Asian of Stones, bring Jet out here, yo. <laughs> now, l l let me just explain to you what you're looking at, bro. You're looking at nothing in this field right now can get popped except for this thing by card effect. Everything's protected. You got a Baron the Floor. You got a Psychic and Punisher with way less life than your opponent. Quick Effect, Synchro Summon into a Bounce Back and a freaking Spell Negate. With two Imperms in your back row. Let's go. And I'm glad it was against this deck too. So we're going to start with the Sprite Blue. Special Summoning the Sprite Red to Special Summon another Sprite Blue. They're going to activate that thing's effect. I'm going to Imperm that. Get that out of here. I might be colorblind. <laughs> nah, bro. It's Clip. It's Clip. So then they're going to activate the stupid Runic Fountain, right? And I'm like, that's my Runic Fountain now. Thank you. They're going to activate the Red though to try and negate me. And I'm like, Emperor number two. <laughs> what are you going to do about the second one, bro? <laughs> Get that out of here. Get that out of here. I'm tired of this deck. I swear I am. So then again, that thing is mine now. Thank you. Thank you. Get your launchables, bro. Start packing it up. Tell your mom to put it in your little bag. So then go go to the gigantic sprite. And I'm like, of course you are. I get it. I get it. Yeah, now nah. we're going to synchro summon using the jet and the Yukioi. So we could go into the Yukioi punk amazing dragon. This dragon is amazing. And we're going to send that thing back to the hand. And again, we're going to draw a card because when I pay taxes, I get some back. Give me that. Send that thing to the extra deck. He has another runic fountain. Setting up the runic tip. And I'm like, you really have the audacity to sit in front of my face and do this. Negate that thing. Get it out of here. 
Again, I hope you enjoy your Lunchables. I hope your lunch is good. I hope your mom made it with love, man. But you gotta go. <laughs> like, yo, I'm tired of this deck and I'm super happy that I got this specific board against this deck. Because yes, bro. Yes. With that being said, let's go into the next replay. Yep, yep. So I picked this replay. It's actually against Sorso and I like this one a lot because I made a different board. Just to show you guys that you could, you could, honestly, these decks are so versatile that you could make different type of boards, right? Depending on what you have in the hand and stuff like that. So we're going to start this one off by um, activating the uh, wagon. And again, they're going to effect very late. That's why I love this card though, because every time you target it, I get to draw a card. So, okay, negate it. Give me my free imperm. <laughs> so this thing get body. We're going to activate emergency teleport. That's going to bring out a CA man. CA man is going to activate its effect. We're going to pay life points. Getting the foxy tune. Foxy tune is going to activate. We're going to use this thing and send the true light to the graveyard. Again, we're going to get the Yukio out here. Yukio is going to use both of these monsters to um, fusion summon into the Rising Carp, right? Rising Carp is going to activate graveyard. Getting the Deer Note. Getting another CA man. Both of these monsters, we're going to Synchro Summon into the Chaos Ruler. You guys probably tired of this combo line, but I have to do it to make the board, right? So make it Chaos Ruler, get the Deer Note. We're going to bring the Wagon back onto the field. And then again, I'm a Fisherman. I'm fishing out from the gates with the CA, man, of course. So again, the Wagon gets to pop on the field. Then we're going to mill Blue Eyes, the Ultimate Destruction, Ogre Dance, Emergency Teleport, and Call by the Grave. So I bring the Ogre Dance to the hand. We're going to activate the wagon again, paying life points so we could get our extreme jam session. Start bumping, bro. We're going to activate that thing's effect, banishing a Pokemon monster so we could bring our Ogre Dance onto the field. We're going to use our two level three to uh, exceed summon into the number <laughs> three. Uh, I forgot that thing's name. The number three, uh, C C Sake Cicada King. And then we're going to use both of our level eights to go into the number 68 son of the sky person now you're wondering why are you doing this i'm basically shutting down effects in the graveyard and then i have a negate while also having um two imperms this thing can get popped and ash blossom i decided to make this board because we have so many disruptions that we don't need to make the big board also also i'm just showing you if you see a 60 card deck bring this thing out here and activate its effect you might just get a free win right that's why i'm showing you this replay again this is against sorcerer so let's get it so they activate the Ashuna, again special summoning that thing, then they're gonna have the audacity to activate the part of desires. You don't desire anything bro, negate that thing, get it out of here. So we're gonna Ash Blossom that thing cause it's really spring outside right? Then they're gonna special summon the Ecclesia or normal summoning, whatever it don't matter. They bring out the Sorso Moe onto the field showing us that they have the Sorso Blackout. And I'm gonna use the number 3 Sayera King to negate that thing cause that's what you do, you just detach from material. And negate that thing. Now we're at 300, uh, 3,000 defense as well. So they're going to use the Ashuna to link off into the Monk of Tenya, of course. I'm like, bet. They're going to normal summon the Sorso of Taya, banishing a card so they could get a token. I'm like, Imperm. There's no tokens out here, bro. Get that out of here. So then they're going to proceed to set down one back row and end their turn again. We know what that back row is. It's blackout, right? So we get our Stone of Asians. And I try to activate this thing's effect. In order to dodge the blackout, I was hoping he wouldn't pop the cards right now. But um, this guy is brave, so he did. So he popped um, the monk and both of our Xyz monsters, unfortunately, right? So I'm like, all right, why Son of Ages? We're going to link that off into Link Karibo. Set that boy down on the field. We're going to end our turn, and at the end of the turn, why Son of Ages is going to bring out a blue eyes jet dragon onto the field. And that's all we wrote, bro. Can't really do much after that, right? So then here they're going to use both of these monsters to link summon into the Shaman of Tenyi. Pretty standard. Okay, got it. Then they're going to, again, special summon the Ecclesia. Send that thing to the graveyard to special summon a source of Taya. Then they're going to activate that thing's effect. Trying to get a token. I just told you, bro. This is, this is not an arcade. There's no tokens over here. Negate that thing. Get it out of here, bro. So then they go into the battle phase trying to get Link Karibo. I'm like, I'm out of here, bro. Your attack is zero. <laughs> I'm going. Like, we're in the graveyard chilling. 
So then here we join to our ogre dance, so you know we're about to get saucy and start dancing. We're gonna activate the chaos ruler in the graveyard so we can special summon that thing. Then we're gonna activate the ogre dance and that thing to the graveyard so we can get a C game in. We're gonna normal the C game and prayer taxes so we could draw our card. We can draw into our foxy tune. From here we're gonna activate um, our field spell that we could banish a card special summon our foxy tune, right? We're gonna use both of these monsters right here, so that way we can synchro summon into the psychic and punisher. Now, just so you know, bro, I specifically, specifically use instead of using any one of these level eight, specifically use the blue eyes jet dragon because when I pop a monster, he's just gonna come back. Keep that in mind if you're gonna play this deck, right? So again, I activate this effect so I could banish the card in the back. Again, we draw another card. We draw into the blue eyes. I activate this thing so we could get our attack boost. And then again, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, we pop something on the field, get it out here, lethal damage, fly into that thing, man. Back up your lunch, boys. <laughs> you gotta go home, bro, it's bedtime, it's bedtime. So, um, with that being said, let's go into the next and last replay where we're going second. Yes, sir, let's yes, sir, yes, sir. Um, for the next replay, we went up against a rogue deck, a deck that not a lot of people play. Um, it seems interesting and I think this deck is getting support. I don't know the name. I'll see when they start playing a card But um, they did set up a good negate. It's just they they negated the wrong things. I saw it. This is uh, The hidden city Where is it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's sub terror. I think that's the name of the sub terror, right? So this is where we're playing against so they get the, the guru onto the field They're gonna set that thing down then they're gonna flip it so they can add their effect So that way they could add a sub terror fiendus onto the hand then they're gonna set down two back row and end their turn, right? So here I'm like, all right, bet. We're gonna activate emergency teleport and they're gonna ash blossom that thing because it's definitely spring, unfortunately. <laughs> it's fine though, it's fine. So here we're gonna proceed to normal summon the CM and activate her effect paying light points and we're gonna get effect veiler. That's two negates, right? I'm like, oh my goodness. All right, copy. Bet. Bet. So fortunately for us, we had the doctor, the, the dictator of D, so we're gonna send the blue eyes to the graveyard. And this man just has negates up everything. Like it's just this man just was ready to negate everything. So he negates the effect by uh, flipping the guru, and I'm like, alright, Foxy Tune it is then. And this is why I love this deck, bro. You saw how many things got negated. We can still play. So we activate the Foxy Tune again, getting the Yuki Oyo onto the field. You guys already know where we're going, right? You know where we're going. So we're gonna activate the rising card. I'm gonna speed it up because I know you're probably tired, right? Again, I'm fishing. We're gonna activate this effect. Bring that deer note onto the field. Get the wagon so we could get a um, jam session. We're gonna use both of these monsters. Synchro summon into um, Chaos Ruler. And bro, <laughs> yo, this man really had the solo judgment in the background, bro. Why are you judging me? All right, never mind. It's fine. So I'm like, all right, bet. I only have one option. Activate the deer no, bring the rising carp onto the field. We're gonna use both of these monsters so that way we could synchro summon into the amazing punk dragon, right? Now we're gonna activate that thing's effect and then we're gonna activate the rising carp in the graveyard. All of this is getting sent back and the rising carp in the graveyard makes it that when you use it to synchro summon, whatever synchro summon monster you, if it's a punk monster, you get to t um, target it and attack twice, right? So we send all three of these cards back to the hand. They're yours, bro. Keep them. A gift from me to you. And then I'm going to slap you up twice. <laughs> Yo, this deck is so much... We just played through, like, what? Three, four disruptions? That solo judgment was just bad for them because we get to attack twice. But with that being said, let's go into the deck list. All right, all right, all right. What the heck is that? My fault, bro. Um, Where we at with All right, bro. So here we are in the deck list portion of the video um not too much to go over nothing crazy if you guys know blue eyes and you guys know blue eyes if you guys know punk you know punk right but i'm gonna go over it so we're running three blue eyes white dragon again you 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 should run this at three if you're gonna play this deck mainly because you want to hit it and you want to have it in the hand sometimes or it's good to have it in the graveyard having this thing anywhere but in the deck is good so we run three of those we run two white son of asians if you actually mill both of these things in one turn with the chaos ruler you get to summon two blue eyes you get to summon a, a, a blue eyes jet dragon you could you bring two of them out it's crazy i did it one time 
So we run two of these. Again, the main reason why you run it is so you have it in the graveyard. You get your special summon, probably the jet at the end of the turn, like you saw me do. We run one um, Plague Spreader Zombie. When you have this thing in the graveyard, you can send one of your cards from the hand back into the deck, and then you get to special summon this thing. It's a level 2 tuner. This is one way to go into your Baron de Floor or Cheng Ying. And you're drawing cards all day, so you don't mind sending one to the grave, to the um, deck, right? Then Shinobi Necro. Shinobi Necro, this is a target to banish with the um, with this card right here, so that you can special summon it from the banish zone and make it Baron de Floor if you like, right? Also, it's a good target to send to the graveyard with the um, Foxy Tune as well. Three Ash Blossom standard, we hate Max C, so we're trying to stop it. So we run three of those. One Yukio Punk, uh, Yukio Punk, uh, Shuk Shara Kusai. One uh, Gaga, Ga you think I know how to say these things as much as I play it, right? It don't matter. Gaga Coupon Wagon. We run three uh, No Punk C Amen. Two Dictators of D. One No Punk Deer Note. One Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Three no punk foxy tunes three no punk ogre dance two blue eyes jet dragons two trade ins two the melodies of awakening dragons one punk jam extreme session two emergency teleports two call by the graves one ultimate fusion of course two ultimate uh, i mean two infinite inf impermanence and one two ultimate creature of the uh of destruction this is actually really good because even if you mill this and you may, and you special summon a, a blue eyes you get to bring this thing from the graveyard into the field and, and they can't do anything to your blue eyes right which is really good so for an extra deck we run again one yukioi punk rising carp one blue eyes tyrant dragon one chaos ruler one baron the floor one soul soul supreme chen ying one yukio punk amazing dragon one psychic and punisher one number three psychic king one number 38 hope bringer one number 68 suffer on the sky prism one d zombie vampire one link karibo one luna the light charmer again you're playing light monsters so just in case um Nightmare Unicorn and Access Code Talker. That is the deck list. That those are the replays. That is what I have for you guys today. Again, if you guys have any questions, comments, and concerns, just hit me up in the comment section, bro. I always reply. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the content. If you did, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.